long time. It's just been really busy for me and I've just not been managing my time well. So I really apologize for that. Anyways, today's video is going to be MacBook life hacks and I just got these from all over the internet and I didn't mean to copy anyone. It's just like I got it from a lot of different places and some people even taught this to me. So yeah. All you have to do to type emojis is press Control command space and they'll appear and you can just scroll and choose whatever emoji you want and yes, pizza. A lot of people ask about recording your own screen and all you have to do is press QuickTime player, file and then new screen recording and you can choose any section you want to record or record the whole screen but since I'm already recording it doesn't allow me to press it. So I don't know about you but I find it really annoying when I have to paste something and it's like a different format and I have to reformat everything. So this hack will definitely help a lot and all you have to do is press command shift B while you paste it and it will be pasted in your format. So I didn't know this but I just found out that there's a calculator in the spotlight search and that's really helpful because it's just in the corner of the screen. So yeah. Credits to my friend Annette for teaching me this. So basically, instead of having the blue folders as your icons for your folders, that didn't make any sense. But you get what I mean. You can have like any picture you want. So I chose food, obviously. <laughs> and so all you have to do is go on Google and search whatever image you want and put PNG or transparent after that so that you'll find images with a transparent background or PNGs or some people call it vectors. When you find that image, make sure you copy it and head over to your folder right click it, press get info, and select the folder icon and just paste it in. And that's it. And I really love how it personalizes your desktop. Like you can put whatever you want on it and it's really great. So this life hack I think is the most helpful and basically all you have to do is press shift option and the increase or decrease the volume button. And it's just really helpful because sometimes I just need a little bit more or just a little bit less but the blocks they provide are too big. But with this function you can go little by little and get the perfect volume. So if you like this video give it a big fat furry thumbs up. Because it's really cold where I live and I need some like just so cold. Apparently it, it hasn't been this cold in where I live for like 59 years. Whoa. And I'm wearing my uh, Sean hoodie. Hey. I'm also wearing my fuzzy socks. They're kind of dirty. Mm, this kind of hurts. So yeah, that's all for today and I'll see you next week. Bye. Let's end with a um, foot. Hey. Bye.